Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Delightful Creations. I'm Amber and it's Treasure Tag Thursday. So excited. So today I'm gonna to be doing a flip down tag and I grabbed two pieces of cutoffs from some scrapbooking papers here. This one is really thick cardstock and the other one is really light and they're pretty neutral. This one's text is going um, the other direction. I don't know if you guys can see that very good, but it's so in the background, I'm not worried about it, but this one is going the correct way and I'm gonna to have to cover it with some coffee dyed paper or something fun inside just because there is that barcode on this one here. But I just thought this would be a fun little way to make something just a little bit different. So they're a little bit different sizes. I'm gonna come in with my tag cutter right away. I'm gonna use a bigger corner this time. Maybe not that one, we'll use the medium one. I've been using the small one quite a bit. I didn't think I'd actually use that one. I'm glad I cut that on, on there. So we'll do the medium cut on these two tags and then some inking and a focal point and pretty just plain and simple. Now, um, what I wanted to say was I will sew around one of them and one of them I will not. I will probably do the sewing on this one because it has, I have to cover that up in the middle. Whoops, I just cut into my card. Um, I have to add something in there and this one I don't, it's already really thick. It's really heavy duty cards, like, like comparable, um, maybe just like 100, 100 pound card stack maybe. But yeah, just thought we'd have fun with that. So also I've got, of course, my normal little die cut bin over here um, with some goodies and cutouts and whatnot. But I have this little, well not little, but I have a pretty giant stack here of clusters that I made and I don't remember whose tutorial I watched on this, but I thought it was a fantastic idea. And I'm, again, I'm busting through my scraps. I'm trying to use my scraps. And she built these clusters. I, I want to say it was, she referenced Tracy Fox maybe, but I don't remember who I actually watched do this. And I did sewing on some and not on the others. And there's, I get nine little cluster bits on a piece of paper. And so this one was a digital music. And then all the rest of them are um, coffee dyed paper. And I just thought that was so much fun. And I just made all these fun, little cluster bases. So we have plenty to choose from for that. And I also made some other little clusters from Corey with Creating with Scraps. I love her. She's so sweet. So sweet. I like watching her videos. So I'm going to do this one in pink and then I'll do the other one, the brown one, and we'll do that one in, hmm, what are we filling today? What are we filling today? Not sure yet. Maybe we'll do the other one because I don't want to use gather twigs. I'm getting a little burnt out on the gather twigs and I actually saw another lady. I've been binge watching YouTube, you guys, crafting and watching YouTube. I don't know what you do in your spare time, but that's what I do <laughs> when I'm not when I'm not doing this. But um, she bought antique linen and I went to my Hobby Lobby and they didn't have that one. And she did some stenciling on some coffee dyed paper and it made it kind of look like doily imprints. And I thought, wow, that would that would look amazing. So I'm not sure how dark the um, antique linen is, but that I think might be my next Tim Holtz purchase. So I'm gonna grab my little box here. And I don't want my red, I did use this pistachio green the other day, which fit my tag quite well. I don't really use broken, there's the, lavender let's go yeah why not let's do this shabby shutters i think yeah because i don't want that yellow i know that yellow is terrible i bought it because it said lemonade i know right shouldn't have done that um and so this is the pistachio one uh and then i have got my green and then this is kind of like a greenish blue and i've only got looks like one other dauber here that isn't used so Oh yeah, there's something. There's springy. There's some spring in your step, right? Okay. I'm just trying to use some of these things up that I don't use very often. Shabby shutters, huh? Might be nice for a daisy journal. I'm using the yellow and the green in it. Yeah, I think that is going to be a fun idea. Or bees. Like just a kind of a fun, nice vibrant color. And it doesn't really show up the greatest. Uh, you probably can't even see it, looks like. But we'll just go around the edge here. And these ones obviously aren't going to have a through and through um, grabber, like topper thing. And so I thought I would just use a little pull tab to flip down so you knew to grab it and pull it down. 
And these could also be just attached on the page themselves, or we can tuck them in a pocket, or you can do an over the page, sideways. That'd be a fun idea. Okay, like this, over a page. Grab my eight and a half sheet here. It's probably too long, yeah. So you have to put it in a bigger one, but you could have an over the page. That's why I was saying this way, but then you have a flip up, but your tag's going the wrong way. So anyways, we're going this way. Let's see what we have. Okay, so we've got pink and green, which is perfect because that's pretty much what all my clusters are. This is my teal page, so I don't want that one. Here we go, pinks and greens right here. Right here, this is the one. And then you can just rip them off. And I did I did see Gail do something in, similar to this in like a little um, a book. I think she made a booklet with some, some already made clusters. Hers were completely finished. Um, oh yeah, look at that. That looks gorgeous. And I think I'm gonna put it, I'm not sure I like that flat edge. I just love it because you can totally put it however you want. So I'm gonna completely rip all that coffee dyed straight edge away. I'm gonna try my best here. And uh, whatever I get that isn't, I can cover up with something else. Okay, so I'm, I don't really care about the words. I'm looking at the sewing, this, this beautiful, let me get you in a little more here. Fabric, this is a fabric piece, and I think I'm gonna put a big birdie on here because I cut these big birds out. Okay, not that one. Nope, nope. And uh, yeah, I thought it'd be fun to use them. I'll give him a little home. I think we're gonna get, cause he's sitting on a branch. He doesn't look like he's out in space. Like that's kind of my problem with these other ones is that I feel like they need to be like perched on something. Yeah, it's a little, I'm a little weird. I'm not sure, this must be my gathered twig, so I'm just gonna ink this edge here in brown. It's, it was just sitting there, I just grabbed it. But yeah, I thought I'd come along today and do a couple little tag flip downs. There we go. And super quick, because I've got, I mean, <laughs> quick for me. I've got my stuff already. Um, I don't like that this edge kinda, kinda blends in. So I'll just give it a little definition. Just a little something around the edges. But um, yeah, I thought it'd be a pretty quick tag because I already had the idea and I have the clusters and then just some die cuts. And I could sit here and I could make probably, mm -hmm, I could probably make 10 of these. Especially, oh, hello, glue stick's about gone. My glue stick friend. Ah, oh, but you've got enough in you to do these two tags. Okay, let's put it right here, somewhat center. Oh yeah. You know what I just realized? <laughs> this was supposed to be the front of my tag because these words are going the right direction. These ones are upside down. Eh, that's all right. <laughs> so when you tag flip down or you pull it out and you want to journal on it, you're not going to see that. It's okay. It's all good. Um, and that's one reason why I usually tend to only ink one side so that I know that's the front. <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to put him Right here, it says, don't tell me I'm in your prey. Of course you are. Okay, blah, blah, blah. We're just going to put them right here. Sweet little bird. Sweet little bird. Aw, I like that. And then we'll give him a sentiment here in a minute. Now this one, I kind of want to make it more springish, but definitely um, a little more, maybe a bigger cluster or something. Let's see. I kind of like this one. So it's got some lace down here, but I don't think this would look good with it because it's already got a flower there. All right, let's look at another page. These ones are pretty. They have the some glitter teal cardstock. Actually, I really like that one. I really like that one, but I don't. Also, when you make them like this and you don't cut them apart, you can't really, you know, get to that. You'd have to use them. Kind of got to use your corner or edge pieces first. I'm not saying this one has to be pink. It just has to have some sort of pink. I like that one because it's got a butterfly in it. A little bit of purple. And I think this ticket might look nice maybe behind there. So these other ones are a little bit too dark for me. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just do it. Just rip it right off. Like, how fun is that? I, it, it took me mm, a couple of nights of crafting to fully... Um, get all those little collage clusters put together and it was just really relaxing okay this one doesn't matter because both the text is going the wrong direction it was really relaxing and I totally had fun with it 
I'm going to rip a little bit more off of that because it's white. That was part of, part of where my coffee dyeing paper didn't get any coffee on it. I said I wasn't going to use the scatter twig, but you know what? It's just handy. It's just sitting there. Let's give it a little bit more grunge. Ooh -wee. There we go. A little more grunge on the edge. I love it. Okay. And I kind of want to see, should we put the tag behind? I was kind of thinking about putting it this direction. Well, I got to cover that up because I just saw the word Christmas. We definitely don't want it to say Christmas on this tag. <laughs> um, I'm kind of feeling like that one's maybe a little too big. So here's like the medium style version of that. Ooh, I like that. I think that's more appropriate to the scaling of what I'm doing here. I'm going to pull it up a bit. Yeah, we'll just glue that on. I mean, you could layer and layer and layer. And this one doesn't have any fabric or any sewing, so it's a little bit different than the other one. There we go. Perfect. Okay, oops, I never put the lid back on my glue stick. So I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I am going to try. I did accidentally click... Um, Gosh, what was that button called? Set Premiere a couple times on the treasure tags. And I was thinking that would be such a fun idea. So I would like to um, maybe do the Premiere, um, live Premiere, where I can go in there and video chat with you guys. Like, I'm not video chat, um, chat in the comments live with you as the video airs when I'm filming it. Like when it's, when it's uploading and you can watch it. I did see Candy was on there and I couldn't reply back to her fast enough on the last time I did that. And I thought, oh, that's what that is. Um, that feature, I didn't know what it was. I thought it would just tell you when the video was going to be coming out. So, um, yeah, I think that'll be really fun. So if, um, for me, I'm in Mountain Standard Time and on Thursdays the boys usually go to school and I can hop on around 9 a.m. So if 9 a.m. is a good time to upload the videos to make them so we can chat, I would love to do that. I would like to have a couple of my crafty friends on there to chit chat back and forth with. But um, yeah, just if you want to comment down below what, what would be a good time for you, I'll try to make sure I can upload a couple of the videos um, doing some live premieres like that. I think that would be really fun. Now, summertime will be a little bit harder for me because they're going to be home, but I don't think it'll be too big of an issue. So let's see here. I've got big giant words over there. I was looking for a sentiment. Okay, I've got big giant words. I don't want those. Let's look in my sticker batch here. Oh, yeah. So these are, this is my bag of stickers. And this is the stickers with words or phrases or sentiments. That kind of thing here. I've got hello, girls night out. Sleep is highly overrated. I got a month's. Let's see here. There's a communion. These are really puffy 3D name stickers. Hmm. I don't really like. Well, I mean, it could be a smaller comforting. It could be a little smaller. It doesn't have to. A good listener. Forever forgiving. It doesn't have to be a gigantic. Like, I would prefer it not to be a chipboard piece. Like, these are, that's what these are all. They're, excuse me, they're huge. Thick pieces, and I want more of a flat one. Do, 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 do. And I've got some travel ones, some planner ones. Some there's a Christmas one. Oh, that needs to go in my Christmas stash. Take that out right now. Um, another travel. Okay, oh, there's some 90s. Um, some pins, more of those, homecoming. Oh, the, let's see. Here's a nice little cute little label. Not quite what I'm looking for. Mm, that's the wrong color palette. Oh, this might be harder than I thought. Goodness. Maybe something in here. Get it done. Make today awesome. See, these are like uh, planner stickers, I think. Yeah. Maybe washi stickers. Yeah. Today, today is your day. I like that one. Now, if I can, how do I, how do I get that off of there? Do I just, oh, it's like a huge thing with black and white on it. Mm, okay. All right. I'm going with the classics. I thought I could be original, but no, I can't. I got to pull out these ones. <laughs> I, just, I just can't. I have, I have other stickers that are upstairs that are so fun that are very similar to these, but I always forget to bring them down here. Like every single time I do treasure tag Thursday, they're just not meant to be down here right now. Okay. Let's go with this floral pack. Really pretty florals in here. And these are like vellum, I think is what they are. 
They're see-through anyhow. And it's harder to read them, but enjoy this wild and free. We're going to go with wild and free with this pretty little sticker. These aren't vellum, um, but those, those floral stickers were. And I want to put it, gosh, I really feel like this side is kind of heavy, but then I got to cover up all that text. I'm going to put it over here, right there. That's where you make a decision, right? You just got to go for it. Get it on there. Because I didn't want to cover up all the all the text in the background. But there is text on here in the background. And I put that on a little bit quicker. That's okay. And this one says, enjoy the little things. And it's also a banner one. And I don't know if I want a banner hanging down on that one. So let's, let's see. These all might be banner. They're looking like they're all banner stickers. Oh, well, there's one. It says, life is lovely. Isn't life lovely? Stop and smell the roses. Oh, I should have put that one on that one. <laughs> That's okay. This one has a little bit of gold foil in the background. So I think I'm going to do this one here where it says, oh, happy day. Or it's a beautiful day. No. Oh, happy day. It's got a little bit of a green wreath around it. And I think I'm going to put it right here so that we can read that. If I put it in the background won't be able to read it. Oh, it's kind of really collaged in there. That's okay. That's okay. I can still read it. Can you guys see that? It says, oh, happy day. Oh, that makes me happy. <laughs> All right, done. Super easy. I hope you enjoyed watching me do this cute little tag flip. We got to do tag toppers at the very top of these. Uh, so real quickly, we'll add in one of these little pull down tabs that are ready, set, go. That's what my mom likes to say. <laughs> I'm gonna put the music one on here. Actually, I think it is definitely more fitting over here. And I'm going to ink the edge because I don't like that it's all white or cream, I should say. I want a little more definition on there. And um, I'm not going to attach this one because I do want to put something in here and then be able to attach it so I don't sew over it. So I can still see it. But that one will sit there. And then on this one, let's do something fun. Let's do... Let's see here. How about, how about, I don't want words. Oh, I have a little birdie, a little birdie. I don't know what you call those things. Dy dy domino. I always want to say dynamo. Domino tile thing. Mm -hmm. Some more little tickets. I could do a butterfly. Oh, we could do a butterfly. Oh, look. Look at do a butterfly yes yes please oh but maybe I'm worried about the I'm worried about the things their antennas okay let's see yeah we need something like this like a butterfly oh, let me pull this over here these mostly are my porch prints um, these digital uh, cutout things yeah I'm worried about their little antenna getting messed up there's a jar with a butterfly uh, there's another little birdie. There's the birds. Little domino car. Here's some tickets. There's already a ticket on there. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I've about used all my butterflies, I think. I thought I had a pink one like that or a green one, but I don't think so. I think I, I think I used it on something. Oh, there's the green one. Oh, it's a tag. Eh, no, 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 no. I do like that. It does say wild and free, though. Uh, here, maybe, oh, here we go. How about something like this? Just like a little, it's kind of, I don't know. It's kind of redundant, isn't it? Mm. I think I do like the birds. I do like the birds. Oh, decisions. Oh, here is, yeah, that's the sticker. No, let's not use that. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. No, I don't want another one of those. There's another butterfly, a smaller. I think it'll be okay. I think we can just... Uh, I really want to put a butterfly on there. Let's just do it. If the antenna break off, the antenna break off. I, I mean, I don't like that one. Where's the one that I liked? Where are you? I guess it doesn't really match, does it? Here it is. Here's the pink one. Yeah, we'll just... I liked that one too, but this one fits a little bit better. If the antenna break off, they break off. It's all right. Try not to be rough with it. Try not to be rough. But when it gets packed away and doesn't get into a uh, thingamajiggy, 
a journal, then it would get all bent up. And I'm only trying to glue on this bottom half here, but I did go up a little bit too high right there, I feel like. So we'll just, we'll just wipe it off. There. And I angled it just so it's not exactly centered. And then I'll just uh, come over here and give it a little, little coloring here on this side, since you can see his little, little things popping up. Wings and antenna. It's like, oh, he's coming to visit. Yay! Okay. Now, now I'm done. So that is the finished one. I like that. I think that looks a lot more complete. Don't you guys? All right. Thanks so much for stopping by. Have a great day. Bye-bye.